So let us now see how we can access a browser which is already open and we perform automation on that browser. So first we need to import Microsoft Internet Controls through references and then instead of creating an object of Internet Explorer, we need to create an object of Shell Document Viewer. So you need to declare dem sh as sh doc viewer dot shell windows. All right. So once you do this, you need to also declare another object to handle the Internet Explorer. So for that, what you need to declare is dim ie as shell doc viewer again sh doc vw dot Internet Explorer. Now when we create an object of shell document viewer dot shell windows. It will give you all the windows of Internet Explorer as well as other Explorer windows. I'm not talking about other browser windows, but I'm talking about the Explorer windows, which include your Internet Explorer windows as well as the directories that you have opened. So you can see here we have two Internet Explorer windows open. On one I have opened YouTube.com and on the other one I have opened Gmail.com and you can see there is a folder also open. So let us now try to print all the names of these windows which are open. So I should get two Internet Explorers and one Explorer window. So for each IE in SH and then it ends with next and inside this what I'll be doing is I will be printing on console the name of the window. So debug.print IE.name. Now when we run this you will see that we have Internet Explorer on the top. So two Internet Explorer windows. The third one is Microsoft Web Browser Control. You can leave it for the time being. The next one is the File Explorer. All right. So I was talking about these three Explorer windows, two of the Internet Explorer and the third one is for File Explorer. So you get all these three. And now we can easily put a conditional box inside and we can say that if it is Internet Explorer, only then pick up one of these. And we can further differentiate between these two Internet Explorer windows on the basis of their URLs. So let's see how I'll be putting checks for the browser windows. So first I put a condition that if ie.name equals Internet Explorer, then and it ends with end if. All right. So now I'm printing on console, for example, the URL of these windows. So debug.print ie.location URL is the property name by which I can print the URL of the browser. So if I run this now, I should now get only two entries. So one is for YouTube and the other one is for Gmail. All right. So apart from this condition, I can also add another condition that if the URL contains YouTube, only then pick up that particular object and further you can add your steps on that particular object. So if IE dot location URL equals or I cannot say equals because that is a long URL. So if I will check whether that URL contains YouTube or not. So in string IE dot location URL comma YouTube, if that is greater than zero, that means it has YouTube in it. Then in that case, what I'll be doing is I'll be working on the document of that particular window. So to set ht equals IE dot document and ht I need to declare here. And before I declare, I need to import the reference Microsoft HTML object library. So I go to references and I import Microsoft HTML object library and then I declare dim ht as HTML document. Now we have the document and we can use any of the methods to identify elements. So get element by ID or any other method. So we'll be deep diving in all these methods in the next section and we can access any of the elements on this particular document. So for now, what I do is uh, let's say I do ie.navigate instead of putting a step to write to or click on any of the element present on the page. I just change the URL. So I navigated that window to amazon.com. So you can see here now instead of YouTube, we have Amazon and Gmail window remains as is. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.